Good day everybody, welcome to my channel here, SW3D Models. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a brief overview of these uh, nav chairs, the one six scale nav chairs that we use for our cockpit for the YT1300 and also for the uh, nav chair computer in the back. All right, so what I'll do, let's start this thing off here. I'm gonna move right over here and talk to these individual pieces. Some of them have actually been cut out and already used, but you can see here, uh, what we use here is a, uh, I'm gonna say it's one eighth or yeah, a little bit thicker than one eighth MDF. And you can see the laser cut parts out. Uh, this here is the uh, hockey sticks, the left and right guides. You have the tops, the poles to slide in. And this is the guide to actually, these two pieces right here snap on there to actually guide the pole in place on the back side of the actual uh, nav, nav chair. Uh, you have the top and the bottom, and you have the uh, seat cushions for the top and the bottom. And you have another piece right over here, which is the backing detail on the back side here. Uh, there's a little bit more, but uh, right now I have so many parts, I'm just trying to figure it all out here. So, um, we also have the uh, acrylic. We also have cut these out of acrylic or styrene. And what you'll see is these are the details for the headpiece, the head below the cowl. And you can see the backing details of this right here. So, and it's all assembled. And you can see all the different parts that, that go on the side here and the magic Tupperware piece. <laughs> so if I can flip this around, you can see that this is right where the Tupperware piece would actually sit inside. And for the sides here, um, we used a quarter round, uh, one eighth inch um, styrene pieces and we cut them to fit. And we have some of these small details that go on the side of the actual chair itself. These are the armrests. Um, you'll see here, you can see the actual thing is actually four pieces, the side, and three other individual pieces that are glued together, uh, sanded and painted. So you get your left and your right. It here's one of the uh, pieces I'm proud of that I, that I designed. This is the TRM, this actually goes on the side I believe it's on the right side of the uh, nav chair. You can get really close, you can see all the little details that are involved with it. It's hollow, what you would do is put a uh, quarter round styrene at the bottom for the pipes. Uh, I'll show you that in the other piece. There's a resin print, and then you have the chute, which is on the left side. Uh, wow. Try to get there close without it being so blurry. Uh, and this one's also um, resin. And this is what the headpiece would look like assembled, painted, with the black piece on the outside. So, you can see all that detail that's added and captured. And this is the backer to the actual chair. And we have the the cowl, it is hollowed out, the bottom, there, and these are additional um, pieces that we use, depending on the thickness you wanted it, whether it be 1 seconds or 1 one sixteenth or 1 eighth, we cut them out, and then and what the seats look like primed, and this one right here was the practice piece. And we have the nacelles, we call them there, but we actually, uh, these were actually printed off in PLA just to do a practice to get the size right. And now I put them off in resin. So see the left and the right. And again, I was playing around with either trying to print these to, or use a styrene. I think the styrene comes out a lot, a lot better. Even if I tried doing them in resin, it, it's, it's just not as good as the styrene, I think. Just my opinion. So here you go, you can actually see next to it, you have it done in styrene. And these right here are cut out in acrylic to guide the seat uh, cushions in place. And you can see it melted, heated that up, melted it. And it did some filler back here in the bottom. And 
There you go. That's what that looks like right now. And then we'll slide over to one that's almost done. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been primed and painted black. Oops, let me go over here to get away from it and then bring it in to show you all the details. So there you go. You can see the parts are cut out and glued in place on the side. Some more details on the side here. Same thing with that. And we added some styrene quarter round on the back of here to give it a little de detail. And yep, this one is actually done in resin. So the resin models tend to have a lot more detail and capture more detail. And then on this side here, you have some more details. And the top wood guide, sorry. And then you can see the pole that we put in here. I think it's a 7 16 or 5 16 I'm, I'm not quite sure right off the top of my head. But it, uh, whatever the one we use it actually fits directly in this. And we have a guide plate on the back side of it so it just pops into place and it stays perfect. So then we get to the actual finished piece, which is this one. Uh, this is uh, covered in leather and this is the leather I used. I picked it up at uh, Joann's and just put it right on over the, the cushions and popped it right in place. So there you go. This is what it looks like painted up. As I said before, the little styrene pieces quote around. Oh, I'm sorry, one eighth it actually fits right in place and slides right up in there. Painted, the detail there, detail here. Everything pops in place perfectly. There is some sanding required, but, and then there's the uh, chute and we added a uh, piece of wire to actually give it that detail that it was needing. And the back details here and here. There you go. And it's a pretty sturdy piece. Uh, quite a little bit, a little heavier than the uh, resin pieces. And then we have the base, which is actually sitting in my Falcon. But this is the same seat that we use for the, the nav chairs in the back of the Falcon or the, the uh, nav computer in the rear. So that's where we're at with this. Um, if you guys like it, please share and subscribe. I really enjoy all the comments I've getting, been getting back. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys again. Thanks, everybody. Y'all have a good day.